This is Martin Shervington, and in this video, I'm going to show you a system I've been using for quite a long time, which I've called my flow system. And it's a way that you, if you apply some of the principles, will be able to manage your circles as well as the content that flows in your stream. Looking at the home stream, the thing to understand with your home stream is that the content that you see in your stream comes from several different sources. The first one is from the people that you have in your circles and the content that they are posting. The next source is from the communities that you belong to. And then there is what's hot and recommended content that flows in the stream based upon the settings that you have that on. And I'll show you how to alter those as well. And there are other things that will appear in your stream, such as content that has been plus one by people in your circles, and you'll also see things like Hangout invites in your stream too. Okay, so let me explain this flow system that I've put in place. And this means that we're gonna begin with looking at circles and the content that flows from your circles. There are four circles that I have that provide content into my stream. First one is Notify, then it's Flow 1, Flow 2, and if you click on more, there's flow three. If you want to set up the system, you'll need to go to your circles via people and then come across to your circles. And you'll need to set up those four circles and you can set up the names and to create a circle. And you just put in the circle name and you create the circle. Now I've already got the circle set up, but what I would do is drag the circle to the top and have them so that they show in that order on the home stream, on the home screen. But for this particular one, I've already got a circle, so I'm just going to delete that one. And you can see you can click the trash can and it will delete. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is decide who's going to be in these circles. Now, the first one, the notify, are the people that I want to see every post that they share. So these are the most important ones. Now the flow one, and you'll understand this in a second, you'll, these are the, the step down from that. You don't want every single thing to send a notification when they post it, but you want to see most of the content in the stream. The next one down is you're happy to see some of the content in the stream. And the next one down is that you want to see um, a bit of the content, but not as much as flow two or flow one. And you certainly don't want to have them on notify. That's the basic structure that you need to set up within your circles. And you can always add people in. And if you remember, you can select a group and you can drag them into particular circles. You can also, for instance, if you hover over, you can see where people are on by these the bolding. And sometimes I may have people in more than one circle. OK, jumping back to the home screen, if uh, you click on Notify, and you have the people in that circle, what you need to do is check out this area. If this is on, then you receive a notification. And guess what? If it's off, you don't. But next to it, if you click, you can either show posts in your home stream, and the amount can be more standard or fewer, or you can uncheck it and they won't appear. But for notify, I want the, the more there as well. So that's the first thing, and so notifies at the highest level. Next one across is Flow 1. And with Flow 1, I don't want them on Notify, but I do want them in my home stream, and I want the most amount. Then for Flow 2, stepping down, I want the standard amount, but I want them to appear in the home stream to make sure that's checked. And then for Flow 3, as you can see, click and it's got shown the home stream, but fewer posts. Now, in order for this system to work, because that's the only content that you're going to see in your home stream from your circles, you'll have to go through and any circles you have, for instance, let's look at one which is a campaign circle on crafty cooking. Notification is going to be off, but you're going to click and see that the checkbox isn't checked, isn't marked. And so it means that I don't see that content in my home stream. Only 
the notify flow 1, flow 2, flow 3 will show up. If you don't mute, then you find that content will flow in and you're not quite as in control as the stream as you may like. Let's now look at the next source of content in your stream, which is from communities. It's very similar as a process that we've just done for communities. You can decide if you want notifications on, and if you click on the gear, you can choose whether you have any of those posts in your home stream and the volumes of those posts. And I may like to put this one up. If you are a member of many communities, you'll need to do this for every community. So go across to your community list and then choose, just choose a community. For instance, a Google Plus Help community. And because there's a lot of posts in that community, you may decide to have them or not to have them in your home stream and then choose the volumes. So you can see here, I've got a standard volume for that content in my home stream. And you'll need to go through every community and adjust the settings so that it works for you. Okay, so we have one more thing to do. We need to now adjust the what's hot content as well. So coming across to the button explore. Okay, so we're now looking at explore and you can see that you can click on what's hot and that take you to what's hot and recommended. Now, this content is popular content on Google+, Plus, the, some of which is likely to go in your stream. If you click on the gear or the cog, you can see whether that content or not will appear in the home stream and the same decision then on how much you want to see. Well, that is the flow system. And the extra bit that you'll need to know is that regularly, if there is more engagement or if you want to see people's content more in your stream, then you move them between circles. So you can do that just by hovering over somebody's name and then deciding which circles you want to add them into. You might put a person on notify that was previously in just flow one or just move them up from three to one um, as you like. In addition to that, you can use the same principle then for communities. Communities you're more engaged in, you might like to see more content in your stream. And the same goes for what's hot and recommended content. Finally, if you click on the annotation, you'll be taken to a page where you'll find a lot more information on how you can use circles to increase your engagement and generally enhance your Google Plus experience, both for individuals and for business also. Many thanks.